To Kill a Mockingbird is being performed tonight through March 12th at the fabulous Fox Theater. It stars Richard Thomas, who plays Atticus Finch. Thomas has been in films, TV series. You may remember him in The Waltons, which won him an Emmy, and more recently in Ozark on Netflix. He's done Broadway shows, off-Broadway tours. He is oh so accomplished. And guess what, St. Louis? We have him here with us today, live from the fabulous Fox. What an honor it is to meet you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Well, Richard, thank you so much for joining us today. We're excited that you're here in St. Louis. Oh, thank you. It's, have you performed at the Fox before? It's great to be with you. I have never been to St. Louis before, so I'm glad we have two weeks because I plan to do a lot of exploring. And I have always wanted to play at the Fox. I've played at the Fox in Atlanta, but I've always heard that the fabulous Fox in St. Louis is absolutely fabulous and so it is it's well st louis welcomes you with open arms and while you're here you have to eat lots of gooey <laughs> butter cake and toasted ravioli oh, true st louis welcome well the story is told from the point of view of I've already i've already had both i've had i've already had both of those <laughs> do we do they get your stamp of approval I didn't waste any time <laughs> <laughs> he said we're getting straight to the good stuff. Well, speaking of good stuff, the story of To Kill a Mockingbird is told from the point of view of three children. How is that perspective appealing to you, Richard? Well, it's very, it, first of all, it's a beautiful production that, that Bart Shearer has created for Aaron Sorkin's play. Uh, and one of them, and it's a wonderful company of actors too, and, and one of the things that's so interesting about our version is that uh, Scout and her brother Jem and their friend Dill, the three children in the book, are, are played by younger adults who are both the children in the story and as adults remembering the story. Yeah. So that it has that quality of memory as well as participation that the book has. And it's a brilliantly theatrical device which could only really happen on stage. And they're all so wonderful, all three actors. Um, and I love the way Aaron has written Atticus. You know, he's given him a wonderful sense of humor and taken him down off his pedestal and made him very teachable and given him a lot to learn um, so that he isn't a sort of perfect character, but, but uh, a man with, uh, with a journey to take. So it's, it, it's a joy to play. Well, I love that you said that Atticus in this rendition of the story has some humor behind it because there are some major themes running through this show, heavy themes too. One of them is not casting judgment on each other. I mean, how does that make you feel to be able to portray right. that character? Well, you know, Atticus is an idealist. He's a man who is, has a lot to learn about the way the world really works. And he has an ideal I, uh, conception of people that everybody is essentially all good and and uh, that you you need to understand them all of which is true of course but what he underst what he learns is that there are there are uh, there are prejudices and issues in place that uh, get in the way of people's goodness and so uh, he has to sort of re reinstruct himself relearn about what constitutes community um, and he has to look at the world with through more realistic eyes and and it, and the kids help help him to learn that as does the trial of Tom Robinson and of course Calpurnia brilliantly played by Jacqueline Williams who's uh, who's the housekeeper and with whom he's raising the children well, I can't wait to get to the fabulous Fox to see you in action and really the rest of the cast. Before I let you go, Richard, I have one more question for you. I mean, you've been on TV, sure. you've done films, you've been touring for live performances. Do you have a favorite medium when it comes to the entertainment industry? Well, as, as most actors I know will tell you that all, th all, th all the mediums are wonderful, and there's something great about working in front of the camera, and it's, but for me, uh, because I started in the theater as a child, the, the theater is the most thrilling and uh, the most satisfying form for me. So I'm always, when I'm on stage, I'm at home. Yeah. 
Well, I concur with you on that. I too was a theater kid, and there's nothing like ma experiencing the magic of theater. So continue to break a leg while you're here in St. Louis. Eat all of our yummy St. Louis treats. And St. Louis, we encourage you to check out this legend right here on screen with me today. It's Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, and you can enjoy it live in the Lou. You can purchase tickets at MetroTix.com. And of course, it's at the fabulous Fox Theater. It's a show that you don't want to miss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Richard. I appreciate it. Have a good one. My pleasure. You too. St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.